Welcome back to TPS. Sometimes it takes just one or two moves for an NFL franchise to go from hopeless to greatness. Just look at the New England Patriots when they hired Bill Belichick or the New Orleans Saints when they signed Drew Brees. There are 10 NFL franchises who seem broken and beyond repairable. However, it could just take one massive offseason change to bring them out of the ashes and back into relevance. Here are 10 ways these broken NFL franchises can be repaired. At TPS, we post videos every single day, so don't forget to click the subscribe button to subscribe. Then click the notification bell to be notified when we post a new video. Number 10. Philadelphia Eagles Fix the Offensive Line The Eagles had by far the NFL's best offensive line when they won Super Bowl 52. Nick Foles wasn't sacked once in the big game against the New England Patriots. A top-tier group powered the rushing game, allowing Foles and Carson Wentz to excel as proficient pocket passers. Things came crashing down in 2019, and though Wentz has taken virtually all the blame, you can't just ignore the awful Eagles O-line. This group has been atrocious in run blocking and pass protection. Losing Brooks for the entire season due to a torn Achilles hurt big time, Peters is past his prime too and Kelsey has hinted at retirement. Whether it's Wentz, Jalen Hurts, or somebody else under center in 2021, the Eagles simply can't come back with the same O-line. Cross your fingers and hope that Kelsey plays another year because he may not and that Brooks returns to full strength. Peters won't be back. The Eagles are sort of built to win now, so their best option is to find some upgrades in free agency. There will be several Pro Bowl talents available this offseason. The Eagles should prioritize one of those players and they can further address the O-line at the draft. This team won't win if they can't protect their quarterback. Number 9. Detroit Lions move on from Matthew Stafford the Lions have been rebuilding since 1957, and they're back to the drawing board again. The Lions fired head coach Matt Patricia and GM Bob Quinn following an embarrassing home loss to the Houston Texans on Thanksgiving. Both of their firings were long overdue, but the changes shouldn't end there. Lions ownership has to be realistic. This current roster isn't good enough to contend for a Super Bowl. Matthew Stafford will be 33 in 2021, and after 12 years, it's probably time to realize that he's not single-handedly going to lead them to the promised land. Stafford is the main reason why the Lions haven't been a bottom five team on an annual basis, but it's time to move on and trade him. This rebuild will take a few years, so it makes the most sense to let their former first overall pick chase a Super Bowl on the contending team while the Lions look to the future. Not only that, but the next regime would probably prefer to choose their own quarterback to build the franchise around. The Lions are in a great position to land a top QB prospect in 2021 like Trey Lance or Zach Wilson, for instance. Number 8. Atlanta Falcons Hire a Defensive-Minded Coach The Falcons' offense has always been potent under Matt Ryan and Julio Jones. The last thing this team needs is an offensive-minded coach. The defense has been awful for the better part of the past decade, and Atlanta needs somebody who is capable of fixing it. Former head coach Dan Quinn, previously the Seattle Seahawks defensive coordinator, didn't pan out. That doesn't mean owner Arthur Blank and the new GM should be afraid of hiring another coach with a defensive background. There are several compelling options to choose from. What about 49ers defensive coordinator Robert Sala? Don Wink Martindale of the Baltimore Ravens? Anthony Weaver of the Texans is worth a look too. The next Atlanta GM has to trust that Ryan, Julio, and Calvin Ridley can get it done on the offense. If they can just hit the jackpot with the defensive guru as their next head coach, Atlanta's talented roster may finally start living up to its full potential. Number 7. Dallas Cowboys – Brand New Coaching Staff Yes, losing Dak Prescott for the season hurt America's team, but isn't backup Andy Dalton a three-time Pro Bowler? So why wasn't he effective? And don't the Cowboys have several Pro Bowl talents on both sides of the ball? No excuses for such a colossal failure of a season. You didn't have to like the Mike McCarthy hiring, but let's be real. We all expected him to be an upgrade over Jason Garrett. I mean, at least McCarthy had a Super Bowl ring and four NFC title game appearances on his resume. But no, McCarthy's one-year hiatus devoted to intense studying of analytics hasn't done anything. Bringing in old friend Mike Nolan to run the defense has backfired, and Kellen Moore's play calling on offense has become too stale and predictable. Trust us, there are many other NFL teams who are doing much more with less talent than Dallas. Coaching matters, and the Cowboys obviously didn't have it with this current group. Jerry Jones is worth billions. He can afford to fire McCarthy and pay out his remaining contract. Nolan and Moore should probably follow McCarthy out the door, too. The Cowboys just need to clean house in the coaching department and try again. Number 6. Houston Texans Give Deshaun Watson a savvy offensive-minded head coach 
Texans QB Deshaun Watson took his game to an MVP-like level once Romeo Cornell took over for the fired Bill O'Brien as head coach. Clearly, Watson was being held back by B.O.B.'s play calling. 2020 was a tough year for the Texans, but Watson's strong play from Week 5 onward should give fans optimism about a quick turnaround. Now, just imagine what Watson can do if Houston supplied him with a brilliant offensive-minded head coach. Chiefs offensive coordinator Eric Bieniemy is the first person that comes to mind, but he'll be a hot candidate everywhere. If the Texans can't get him, then the Bills OC Brian DeBull or even Greg Roman of the Ravens. There are many options here. The point is that the Texans need to prioritize offense when hiring their next coach to work with Watson. If they can find the right person, this team will return to playoff contention in 2021. Number 5 Los Angeles Chargers Fix the Offensive Line 2020 marked yet another disastrous mistake-filled season for the Los Angeles Chargers. The good news, they have their long-term quarterback of the future in Justin Herbert, and he is going to be a superstar for many years to come. But if the Chargers want to maximize Herbert's skills and production, they better get this man a better offensive line. Free agent pickup Brian Bulaga didn't pan out in 2020, and the rest of the offensive line consists of easily replaceable players. With a top 10 pick on the way, the Chargers need to prioritize the O-line. Or they could go the easy way and find one or two reliable proven veterans in free agency. The likes of Trent Williams, Alex Mack, or Joe Tooney should be available. They have to bring in at least two new starters next year. Otherwise, the Oregon product won't get this team back into playoff contention anytime soon. They'll just continue to lurk around the AFC basement. Number 4 Jacksonville Jaguars paired the next QB with an offensive-minded coach. The Jaguars will surely move on from the fun but unspectacular Garden Minshew project in 2021. They're all but guaranteed to come away with either Trevor Lawrence, Trey Lance, or Justin Fields. One of them will be the Jags starting QB in 2021. What the Jaguars must do is follow the blueprint laid out by the likes of the Arizona Cardinals with Kyler Murray or Bills with Josh Allen. Find a crafty and innovative offensive-minded coach who can maximize your young quarterback's talents right away. Since hiring a defensive-minded coach in Doug Marone, the Jags have gotten very little out of the likes of Blake Bortles, Nick Foles, and Gardner Minshew. Their next QB will very well determine their franchise's long-term success or lack thereof. So build around the next guy by supplying him with the proper head coach, don't overthink it. Number 3 Chicago Bears add a veteran quarterback Mitch Trubisky and Nick Foles aren't the answers. Once again, the Bears will go back to the drawing board at quarterback, something they've been accustomed to for the better part of the past 30 years. The Bears still have one of the NFL's elite defenses and some quality skill position players. We suggest the Bears don't bother trying their luck at the draft. With so many proven veterans available via trade or free agency in the 2021 offseason, Chicago can easily find somebody. Cam Newton would be a tremendous fit in Chicago's rush-heavy offense, should he leave the Patriots. If not, why not see if 2019 passing yards leader Jameis Winston can benefit from a change of scenery? Jimmy Garoppolo, Carson Wentz, and Matthew Stafford could also be available if their respective teams move on from them. Lots of options there for the Bears to look at. Add a guy with some experience and potential and enjoy the quick turnaround. You are one big QB addition away, Chicago. Number 2. Draft a quarterback with a number 9 selection The Broncos have only had a top 10 selection once since 2012. That was back in 2018 when they drafted NC State pass rusher Bradley Chubb with the number 5 selection. Because the Broncos haven't usually picked until the mid to late first round, they haven't had many opportunities to find a franchise-changing quarterback in the draft. 2021 is their chance to change that. Drew Locke already doesn't look like the answer. John Elway relinquished his GM role, perhaps finally acknowledging that he's not capable of finding a franchise quarterback. The 2021 class is filled with elite QB prospects, and Denver has to grab one of them with a number 9 selection. They won't get Trevor Lawrence or Justin Fields, but Zach Wilson, Mac Jones, Cal Trask, or Trey Lance are extremely gifted signal callers that could finally solve the QB dilemma in the Mile High City. Most of the other pieces are in place for this team to compete. Adding a franchise quarterback with the ninth overall pick could prove to be the final piece to their puzzle. Number 1. New York Jets Get an Offensive-Minded Coach Like the Texans and Jaguars, it's imperative that the Jets find a sharp, shrewd, and a creative offensive mastermind to work with their next QB. As is the case with the Jaguars, the Jets are guaranteed one of either Lawrence, Fields, or Lance. They wasted Sam Darnold by supplying him with Adam Gase, one of the most unqualified head coaches of all time. They cannot make that same mistake with their next QB. The usual candidates listed above stand out. Pretty much anyone who's had success with a young phenom quarterback or two should be on the Jets' radar. We like the work GM Joe Douglas has done in a helpless situation. He didn't hire Gase and he didn't draft Darnold. 
He will choose his next QB, and it's up to Douglas to find the proper coach to accommodate that guy. The Jets could turn a corner quicker than you think with Fields, Lance, or Lawrence, but only if they bring in the proper head coach to mentor him. Biennemi should especially be atop their radar, if not push for somebody like DeBowl or Roman. These Jets really need an offensive-minded coach to save them after botching the Gase hire and failing to give Darnold the proper tools to excel. What other moves do you think these broken NFL franchises need to make? Join us in the comments section down below. If you like the video, then like the video. We'd really appreciate it. If you're not subscribed, that you can do that by hitting the subscribe button. And until next time, tune into TPS every single day for more cool videos. We'll see you.